Kelly Ma is only 24 but needs a mobility scooter. She's had Lyme disease for a decade. For years, she was weak, vulnerable to infections and fainting 15 times a day. The symptoms are still um, changing, but there's, there's some that you do learn to deal with. But to be honest, things like fatigue never really do get easier. Just that feeling of, of being sick every day is, is just very difficult. This is Kelly before she became ill, a happy, smiling teenager. It's thought she picked up the disease from a tick bite in the new forest. Do you remember you always wore that, didn't you? NHS tests came back negative and doctors diagnosed attention seeking, but the symptoms continued. Kelly's family spent £100,000 on treatments and tests abroad before her Lyme disease was finally confirmed in Germany. It's been heartbreaking, soul destroying, financially extremely stretching, but you would spend, you would give your life for your children. So the financial side is not important, but we're lucky that we can actually find the money to, to do it. There are so many thousands of people out there that can't even do that. And we shouldn't have to go abroad for testing. We shouldn't have to go abroad for treatment. We should be able to stay at home here and look after our own families. This debilitating illness is carried by ticks and affects about 3,000 people a year. It can be treated if it's caught early. But campaigners say symptoms are missed because the tests are not foolproof. A point made at a conference in London today. I've had several consultants who each say the only thing that explains my symptoms is Lyme disease, but the blood test comes back negative, so therefore I'm all right and there's nothing wrong with me. This evening, Public Health England said their laboratory at Porton Down was evaluating different diagnostic tests and will be developing a specific set of guidance for the investigation and management of Lyme disease in the UK. That news was welcome, but years too late for Kelly. She's put her Spanish degree on hold and is going to America for the latest treatment in the hope that something may finally work. The biggest objective here is to try and stop these children not having a life. Kelly is 24, she's a young adult, and she cannot go anywhere on her own. She cannot live a life on her own. That has to stop.